This is the Canary Island date palm, Phoenix canariensis, a palm closely related to the commercial date palm. This palm doesn't produce edible dates, but it's a really popular ornamental tree in Mediterranean climates, like in Spain, California, and parts of Australia and New Zealand. Everywhere this palm occurs, there is a creature that follows, but this creature is seldom noticed by most people. Next time you see one of these beautiful Canary Island date palms that's in fruit, go up to the tree and look on the ground. If the area hasn't been recently groomed, you might see a few fruits on the ground. Pick a few of these up. At least some of them, maybe most of them, will have tiny round holes in the skin. This is probably the work of an equally tiny beetle, the date stone beetle, or Cacotripes dactyloperda. If you're lucky, you might see one of these creatures crawling around. The best way to see them is to gather up a whole bunch of fruits with holes, put them in a clear container with a lid, and wait a few days. Watch for two millimeter long brown cylindrical beetles to appear. These are the adult females. What were these beetles doing in there? Well, they spend almost their entire lives inside the seed or stone of the palm fruit, which in this palm takes up most of the space of the fruit. There's very little soft flesh around it. During the beginning of the palm fruiting season, these females make their way to the fruits in the trees, either by flying or by walking and they start chewing their way through the flesh of the fruit right at the base. Sometimes a female will start chewing several different fruits before she selects the one that meets her preferences. This usually causes the fruit to abscise or fall off the plant. She then chews her way into the stone, carving out a tunnel over the next 24 hours or so, where she lays a small number of eggs, which are typically unfertilized eggs. Unfertilized because she hasn't mated with a male. In this kind of beetle, unfertilized eggs hatch out as males. While she waits for these to hatch, she enlarges the gallery inside the stone, and when not actively working, will position herself near the entrance to the tunnel to protect her brood inside. These eggs soon hatch and develop quickly into larvae and then the adult males. And here's the amazing part. The female then mates with her first son that matures which means her next batch of eggs will be fertilized. It's also a much bigger batch, around 30 eggs. Since they're fertilized, there will be females in this batch. They all hatch out as larvae, which feed inside the stone for a few days, then pupate there. While they're developing, the adult female tends the brood, pushing frass out of the hole when it gets too messy inside. This frass is easily seen coating the fruits if you've left them inside. The adult females then appear, they mate with their brothers inside the stone, and then they disperse to a new fallen fruit and start the cycle over again. We tried cutting open some of these fruits to see the galleries and larvae inside. This wasn't easy since the stone is really hard. It's amazing that the beetles can bore their way through it. We're successful in exposing the galleries. Here's one where the beetle is just starting to bore in. In some older ones, we even found a few larvae. Here they are under a stereo microscope. Some of the oldest ones were almost completely turned to frass by the beetles. And in case you're wondering, these beetles are significant pests of commercially grown dates and can cause 30 to 40% loss of fruit on unprotected date palms. It's thought that they originally came from North Africa, but given their amazing ability to colonize new habitat with just a single unmated female, it's no wonder they've successfully mated around the world.